Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Game Feed. My name, of course, is Pants06. You can call me Derek, and today we're going to talk about DMCA and what it does for everything as a whole when it comes to gaming, YouTube, and just anything, and how fucking terrible it is. I'm sorry I said that right. That was really rash, wasn't it? It's right to the point. I'm just, like, aiming right for the jugular on that. Now, um, DMCA CA and um, take that sort of takedown strike notices has been a problem um, it's been plaguing YouTube and just anything in general lately. Um, and I noticed, uh, I read a story today about this, there's this game on Steam called Orion, which I own this game. This is a, it's a multiplayer, um, it's like, it's kind of like a team-based multiplayer game with dinosaurs. Um, but, uh, it's called Orion. And basically what happened, there was two gun models in the game, uh, from what I can tell, the story I read, which... Basically, it goes like this. Uh, see, so apparently Activision removed Orion from Steam. This was done via DMCA takedown requesting, stating, on behalf of Activision, who alleged that the game Orion uses weapons, art, and content from Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the weapon art in question includes the MAA-7 rifle and the Haymaker rifle, as well as the Ball-27 rifle. Um, basically, they took the game down from Steam, um, and they asked the guys that made this game showed the comparisons of the guns. Um, I mean, they look similar, but they're not the same gun, um, which this is a problem. Uh, Call of Duty has its futuristic weapons, and basically them doing this is saying, hey, fuck you, you can't have futuristic weapons in your games. And, you know, if you played a Call of Duty game in the last, you know, three or four years, all the futuristic weapons look the same. Um, it's kind of hard to really differentiate your weapons from other weapons, but how can you do that? It's not even the same fucking gun. Um, and I'll put a link in the description below. That way you can read this story. Um, I don't understand it. I don't, really don't understand it because, you know, right now this is the Steam cell, and the, the game is only really available on PC, and, you know, Right now, this is a good time for that Orion game since it was marked down. Uh, people can make a, you know, they can make a little bit of money on this. And, you know, <laughs> I, I think, I think that there's, comes a pro, there comes a time when we should probably stand up against this shit because at this point, this DMCA stuff, either if it's on YouTube, Steam, or whatever, it only favors like the bigger corporations and gaming, which we already know this, and there's probably not much we can do about it at this point because this time's already been set in motion. Um, but I mean, I just don't understand. I don't know if there was any um, type of research on this. Um, game before the DMCA takedown was applied to this game. You know, I played this game well before Black Ops 3 came out, and I think I played it before Advanced Warfare came out. Um, you know, it is an early access, and, you know, I played it, and I, you know, it's okay. It's a game. It's okay. Um, but it's, it's basically Activision is the big bully here, beating on the small guys. And this, if this thing kind of continues to happen, you know, where is... Where is the creative freedom? Just because on Black Ops you have a gun that looks the same as another gun, or remotely similar, doesn't mean it's the same gun. You know, it has a different name, and, you know, the guys are stating that, you know, this is not, you know, it wasn't made to be similar to this. And, you know, like I said, I don't know if Orion, I'm pretty sure Orion was out well before Black Ops 3 was even even made, and, you know, I, I don't understand how they could do a ta DMC takedown on this. Um, now, you know, as a YouTuber, I have made videos, and I've got takedown notices, and for the most part, I comply with it, and in fact, mainly that's to do with, like, I make a video that has a song in it, or a game trailer, I won't monetize it. Because I know I'm automatically going to get a strike. Well, me monetizing anyways is not really going to help. Because, like I said, this is a small channel. Um, but <laughs> you'll get these notices and you're like, Well, we see that you use this video, this song in your video. Well, we're going to go ahead and put some ads on there for you. And um, we're going to go ahead and make all the money on it. Yeah, it's cool. It's a simple plan song. You can use that. But fuck you, you're not going to get anything from it. Which I don't really care anyways, but it's still fucking annoying. 
Um, and I can only imagine what it's like to for a game developer, especially a small indie developer, to get bullied around by you know these big guys. So I mean, creative freedom is actually getting a big hit when it comes to this DMCA stuff. I mean, what's the point? of trying to make your own, own game, trying to be as unique as you possibly can, especially in the shooter genre, it's really hard to do anyways. I mean, it'd be like Call of Duty's like, oh, that pistol looks exactly like every single pistol in every single video game. Let's go ahead and attack every single video game for having that same pistol that looks the same. Yeah, let's do that. That's probably, you know, you're going to see more and more of this. But I feel really bad about it because, I mean, I don't think... Uh, they deserve this. And like I said, I played the game prior to Black Ops 3. I know I have, and I've got it in my Steam library. I've played it quite a few times, actually. Uh, probably not enough to, uh, you know, get a good decision on what I think of it, but I you know, enjoyed what I played. But again, the game's called Orion Prelude. I'll put a link in the description below on that story, which is... Like I said, in my opinion, it's quite fucked up, and you can see the screenshots of the guns in question, and I guess they're trying to get some support because, you know, you know, some people should take note of this, like, companies should take note of, you know, whatever is happening here, it seems like it's an auto, it's like auto, nobody look at it, uh, I just don't know how you can take, um, you know, <laughs> rice on a weapon, especially if the gun does not look completely alike, and if it's not an asset ripped from the game, and then you can see the asset comparisons and totally different, totally different, which, you know, fuck Activision, I guess, uh, which, which kind of reminds me, I did a video a while back, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, um, it was a parody where I was watching the uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 supposedly remake, but it ends up being a, um, Pachinko Machine. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it's playing the music in the background. I actually got a Konami Konami takedown on that, uh, but I didn't monetize it. I didn't monetize the game, but so I get to keep it up there. And <laughs> that's that's another hashtag fuck Konami thing. But it's that easy. It's that easy. That easy. You cannot have creative freedom anymore, especially if you're a small YouTuber. Now, say if you're a larger YouTuber, a larger game developer, or something like that. If you're a little well known, have a little bit more cash in your hand. Then possibly, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You can get away from that. Um, but as of right now, um, smaller indie devs and smaller YouTubers are not protected. Um, one that I'm really, really aware of that's getting pretty good protection is Jim Sterling. Um, that's good. He's he's found out a way to to kind of beat the uh, DMCA takedown stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys watched his video where he takes. Uh, clips from a Call of Duty game, a Konami game, a Nintendo game, and all these other games, and they try to <laughs> post it, and nobody can nobody can make money off of it because everybody's going to be fighting for this one bit of video, which is really smart on Jim Sterling. If you guys get a chance, check him out. Um, also, VidCon was this week. Uh, Boogie two nine eight eight. He got his channel completely hacked and taken down, which is up. Is now back up and running, um, and it's kind of crazy because they took the channel down, and I don't understand why these people decided to attack major YouTubers and not instead use their powers to attack. I don't know, maybe fucking ISIS or I don't know hate groups or something. I don't understand. Maybe Activision or Konami fucking attack them. Why are you attacking bigger YouTubers and shit? doesn't make too much sense, but, you know, that's, well, that's their logic, um, but, you know, <laughs> but I just kind of want to talk about that, the DMCA stuff was kind of stupid, and like I said, I'll put a link down in the description below, I also, like I said before in my previous video on the Let's Talk, um, the schedule is going to be a little bit different this week, I'm going to try to get a couple of Let's Plays in today, um, that way you guys can have something this week, I will not have another video out until Saturday. Um, maybe possibly Friday night, I don't know, um, but I got a big, big, big thing this week to get to interviews, possibly three, and yeah, it's going to take a lot of my time, and, but, but things will get better. Uh, again, my name is Fanso6, you can call me Derek, be sure to hit like, subscribe, help this channel grow, I definitely will appreciate it, and, um, just give me some feedback on things you want to hear, what you want me to do, and, 
Oh, so on and so on. I'd love for this channel to grow. Maybe we can make it to E3 one day. Maybe to VidCon and maybe we can all meet together and have lunch. Who knows? Again, I get love you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you later.